Hey there, everyone. This is Pavel, and in this little demo, we're going to go over how to use the new features in Messages after the iOS 16 update with VoiceOver. Specifically, what I want to kind of go over right now is how to edit a message that you send to someone. And yes, it does have to be an iMessage as well as how to unsend a message that you have sent to someone. Maybe you sent it to the wrong person, all right? So I'm in a message thread here with Lupe, and I'm gonna go ahead and send him a quick message. So I'm gonna move my focus to the bottom to find the edit field, just by using Explore by Touch. Mes your I I mes messages, message, iMessage. Message, text field, is editing, iMessage, character mode, insertion point at start. Okay. I did a one finger double tap. I have the on-screen keyboard here and I could type using that. I still choose to use the Braille screen input. So I'm going to do that. Just a type of message here. Braille screen input, tabletop mode, dot six, cap H, E, Y, space, hey, dot five, T, space, time, dot six, dot six, time, dot five, the space, there, dot six, cap L, hyphen, P, dot, dot three, six, U. P E A space Lupe H A P P Y space happy dot six cap T U E S dot five D F F space Tuesday portrait. I've come out of Braille screen input and I'm gonna go look to send my message. Message text field is editing. Hey there, Lupe. Happy Tuesday. Cap send button. Send message. Dictate button. Okay, I send my message and maybe I just realized, oh wait, today is not Tuesday, today is Monday. So I'm hoping Lupe hasn't seen this message yet and I'm gonna go try to edit it really quickly to correct this to Monday. So here's what it says right now. Let me go find the message. Messages, your iMessage, hey there Lupe, happy Tuesday, 3.45 p.m. Okay, that little sound lets me know that there's options available for this message. So in this specific instance, what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to do a one finger double tap and hold. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay. Delivered, heading left, your iMessage. Hey there, Lupe, happy Tuesday, 3.45, reply, B heart, button. Okay, so that's what you want. You wanna make sure your focus lands in the reactions. If it doesn't, you may have to use Explore by Touch when I've been kind of prepping for this and trying this out. Sometimes it takes you to the right spot. Sometimes the focus jumps to a different spot. If you don't find your way to the reactions, use Explore by Touch until you find the usual reactions that you are hopefully used to. So I'm going to swipe right to look through our options and I'm going to go quickly through the reactions. Thumbs up, thumbs down, ha ha, exclamation mark, question mark, reply, but undo send button. Undo send is one we're going to come back to, but this is also available here where you could just double tap and it'll take back this message. All right, let me do a one finger swipe right. Edit button. There's the edit button. I'm going to go ahead and one finger double tap. Text field is editing. Hey there, Lupe. Happy Tuesday. Character mode. Insertion point at end. There mm -hmm. is the message again, and it's in the edit field, which means I can now go ahead and edit. And I was informed that my insertion point is at the end. So all I need to do is change this from saying Tuesday to Monday. So I'm going to quickly do this using the rotor. Misspelled words. Actions. Activate. Braille screen input. Characters. All right. I'm going to do a one finger swipe up to move backwards through the word Tuesday. Exclamation mark. Y. A. D. There Delta. I am. I'm in front of the D of Tuesday. I'm going to backspace or delete these four, uh, four characters. Return. Delete. S. E. U. Cap T. All right. I'm going to type in the MUN of Monday. N. M. M. O. O. B. N. N. All right, and let's check my message now. Messages. Monday, Y. Text field is editing. Hey there, Lupe. Happy Monday. Character mode. Insertion point between N and D at the 26th position. Perfect. So that's where my insertion point is. It sounds correct. Now I want you to notice these next two buttons I get to when I would normally swipe right, we would in the original message just find send, but here you're gonna have two options. So I'm gonna one finger swipe right. Cancel edit button. You can cancel the edit if you change your mind or if they've already seen it. One finger swipe right again. Send edit button. Send edit. I'm gonna go ahead and double tap this. Message. Text field is editing. iMessage. Character mode. 
insertion point at start. Okay, so it sent it. So now let's go up to the messages and find it. And let's see, because you heard it earlier say, hey there, Lupe, happy Tuesday. Let's see what it says now. Messages. Your iMessage, hey there, Lupe, happy Monday, 3.45 p.m. All right. Deliver bullet edited button. So it says deliver bullet edited. Your iMessage, hey there, Lupe, happy Monday, 3.45 p.m. And as I said, you can tell that it has been corrected. It does not say happy Tuesday anymore. So it has been edited. And I do believe even on his end, it will tell us and we'll see if we get a response from him letting us know that he does in fact see that it has been edited. So that is how you would go through once you have sent a message. Um, I believe you have about 10, 15 minutes. I don't think this is something where you can go back, you know, hours and days later and correcting. I think this is meant to be more of an instant catch and mess, a mistake you made and you realize, oh, let me correct that. Uh, maybe things like sending someone your address or pertinent information that may be just a slip or perhaps even autocorrect made a mistake and you catch it quickly after you have gone back to edit it, okay? So that is the first task that we wanted to do was how to go ahead and edit a message that we sent and we've done that. So now we'll move on to our next met part and we'll go ahead and we will unsend a message. So I need to resend Lupe another message and this time, I will um, make another mistake just to kind of mimic why you might use something like this. Cap V. Victor. Braille screen input. Tabletop mode. Dot six. Cap H. I. Space. Hi. Dot six. Message. I. K. E. E. A. Space. H. L. Space. How. Quotation mark. Space. Was. Y. R. Space. Your. W. E. E. K. N. D. Question mark, space, weekend. I'm still in browser screen input, but I'm gonna do a three finger swipe up to send this message. Sent message, portrait, right. messages. Your iMessage, hi Mike, how was your weekend? 350. Okay, so I intentionally sent the wrong message and you heard it say it there. Hi Mike, how was your weekend? Oops, I sent this to Lupe. So I could send this, but maybe I wasn't trying to have this conversation or maybe it was something way different. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna find the message again. Messages. Lupe Chavez, it showed the original at first, then it showed the edited message, 3.50 p.m. Okay, so that was uh, Lupe responding, letting, letting us know he got the original one because he, he was actually already queued to this, and then he also saw the edited one afterwards. Okay, so let me go find the message I just sent him. Your iMessage, hi Mike, how was your weekend? 3.51 p.m. There it is. I could do what I did earlier where I did the one finger double tap and hold, but this time I want to just show you a second way. So um, when you hear that vibration, yours may say options, um, actions available. What you're going to do is you're going to do a one finger swipe up or down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a one finger swipe up and see the options. Drag. More. Translate. Copy. Undo send. That's the one we're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and double tap. Effect. Your iMessage. Hi Mike. How was your weekend? 3.51 p.m. Lupe Chavez. It showed the original at first then it showed the edited message. So now it just jumped me back in my message. So now if I one finger swipe right, I want you to hear what it shows. You unsent a message button. Says I unsent a message. All right. So there it is. Um, it did unsend and that is how it works. Um, please note, if you send a message to someone who has not updated to iOS 16, they will still get that message, be it that you unsent it or that you made an edit, they will see it. Okay. So at that point, you have to go back to the messaging etiquette of prior versions where you are just going to, you know, correct it with an add a star to let someone know you made a typo or just, you know, send someone a follow up message saying, oops, sorry. Lupe is typing. Lupe is responding here. Let's see what he says. I think he's going to let us know what he sees on his end when it comes to the message that was unsent. Oh. Lupe Chavez, it showed the original at first, then it showed the edit. That was the previous one. You unsent a message button. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it'll say on his end. It'll say Pavel Eilie unsent message. Let's see if he, in fact, does say confirm that. Buddy is typing.
Message received from Lupe. Voiceover doesn't say that you unsent the message. Lupe Chavez. Voiceover doesn't say that you unsent. Lupe. Okay. So Lupe is saying that voiceover doesn't say that I unsent the message. So that is interesting. Um, I don't know if it matters. I think it, for the sake of this demonstration, Lupe has had his messages open. And so I think he definitely got the first one. And then I don't think it's going to take it back. Um, I know from experience, having done this with someone else recently, if you had not opened it, it does not show you the content. It just says that the person's first and last name unsent a message. So you don't know the content of that message, okay? So it's not like, um, I know there was probably some fears about being able to like take messages back and not feel like people would know what you're saying uh, or that you even said anything. That's not necessarily the case. It does show up in the thread um, even later as the fact that someone unsent a message. So that's those two features. Hope this message received helpful. from Lupe. Let's see if Lupe says anything. Lupe Chavez, I had to swipe to it and it replaced the message with you unsent it. 354. There it goes. So Lupe confirmed. So since he had it open, it did show it. And then when he swiped away and swiped back to it, it did say that I had unsent the message. So that is it for these two tasks. Uh, we'll do another video to kind of cover more things to come. Thanks for joining us. Control Center.